Well, good morning, YouTube. We are, this is day four of the Durango trip. Second day in the, well, I guess I should say the Durango area because I'm actually staying in uh, Cortez. But I'm going to go up the road here to uh, some uh, ruins. Anyway, we're heading there to go see these ruins with some some guys from the from where our, in our area in the Portland Vancouver area and uh, we're gonna meet up with them and uh, go hiking through these uh, cliff dwellings so I'll have some video and pictures and whatnot of that so that's what we're gonna do first thing this morning then there's some big uh, like town event or something with the spiders in Durango um, early this afternoon we'll go check that out see what that's all about so until then we'll talk at you later see ya so this is the Mesa Verde National Park I have no idea how what kind of a hike or anything we got involved with this they said they'd meet us at the entrance gate I know, but I don't know if they're visitor center tour tickets. I don't know if they're going to meet us here or down here. I see three people. There should be two whites and a gray spider. Can you make any of that out? Yeah, there's key right there. Well, hey there, stranger. <laughs> we made it. Mary went up the hill to uh, find you. Well, that's not oh, it. oh yeah, right on the right on the nose. You gotta be telling. Kelly, I'm Keith. Nice I keep nice meeting you. you. For some reason, I keep thinking you guys have met. It just freaks me out. You haven't. <laughs> How was it? The ride down? Yeah. Crazy. That's nuts doing that in two days. And then just. My heart went out to you guys. So hello there, YouTube. We have all gathered together. We got Larry in the front, Dan, and then uh, Key right behind us. Yeah. Oh, and here I, I was worried about riding dirty because I didn't know what I was going to do with my helmet. So we didn't, because it's only like 13 miles up here for us. Thanks. Anyway, this is uh, like an hour drive out to uh, some uh, dwellings. And this is one that uh, doesn't require a guided tour or, or anything like that. You can just drive out here on your own. It's like a quarter mile hike down a cliff or something. And, and then uh, check it out. You don't, you don't have to be guided by a ranger. And from the pictures they're showing, this will be pretty cool. Man, this is a wicked ass road coming up here. And look at this, oh, breathtaking. A few spider people here after the uh, you pay to come in the gate there's a uh, little pull-off area oh man that is really cool I 
I'll just turn you on for a quick blip through a tunnel. Woo, that is dark. Oh my God, come on eyes, adjust. Holy crap. That took a bit for my eyes to adjust, man. That just, all I mean, I was literally following the <coughs> glowing markers on the road and their taillights. Check out this view. down there to another viewpoint. I think this is a like a fire watch station or something. We're in an extreme high uh, fire warning that's going on up here right now. If you can't see it from here you're not going to, oh, geez, they didn't left. <laughs> All right, I need to bail. Oh, I need to hurry up. So this is a really cool thing. It's like almost 8,500 feet up. We just kind of darted off and went up a little viewpoint. It was called a uh, park point. Really cool. There's a fire watch station up there. I, uh, took some video with the handy cam maybe I can merge that in oh here's another starting view you see some of the dwellings in there this will pick them up pretty wild huh Hope I don't kill phone. myself going up this trail. My phone is there. So here we are in the in the dwellings. It's actually really cool. Kelly even went down into this hole. What's the hole called? The pit? And this is like the original wood from when they built it. How did that survive? You know, the ancestral pavements might have been various groups from different locations, and we just call them all ancestral pavements. I didn't go down that thing. I'm too claustrophobic. I'd probably freak out. <laughs> Yeah. I know. It's like, wait a minute. Dan is up in here somewhere. I don't know if that'll focus. That's a long way to go back up. Hope this old round man don't black out. <laughs> We'll see. All right. It's a really cool trail to here. Beautiful. There's so many oak. Whoever planted trees when the one of the cluster of green. Yeah, it is. How close that thing will focus. Seeking the sun. Yes. Kind of cool. Oh, there goes the arduous task of going uphill. Wish me luck. <laughs> so much, so many dead 
dead trees. What is that for? Well, my dad made it so that you can see the screen in the sunlight. Oh, oh. Well, hello there, you two. We went down to the uh, to the ruins and uh, or the dwellings. I uh, did some handy cam work down there. Hopefully, I've uh, I've entered that before this, and don't do that as a separate one. I don't know how I'll work these. I never know until I sit down, and look through the videos, and see how I'm going to work them out. But you can see where there was a forest fire. We're like at the top. I don't know. Good Lord, we've gone way up since we left that 8,500 foot mark. So I have no idea how high we are. We're up here though. But that was really cool. It's amazing. There's still wood that was used all them years ago. And, uh, it's still there. That's amazing that it's that dry out here that wood can survive. But uh, yeah, that was really cool. And we were with Key and he kept stopping and good lord, that guy's a wealth of information. So we kept stopping on the way up and talking about different things that the Indians did. I don't know how he knows all so much of that stuff, but it was very, uh, very informative. I learned a lot today, but uh, everybody's kind of taken off in different directions and uh, got different things going on. And uh, Kelly wanted to go down to the four corners, so I thought we'd uh, we'd knock that out. And she wanted to go to uh, like a gift shop, an Indian gift shop type thing or something. They so had to get the honeydews out of the way. And um, then we're gonna scoot into Durango for the big, I guess they're gonna shut, basically shut the town down. So I don't know how that's all gonna work. So, got a, got a full day. Don't have to do anything really. <laughs> we just kind of play it by ear. The only thing we have to do is leave at the crack of dawn tomorrow morning and start that arduous life-sucking trip back home you know something i'm driving along here with the shield up you probably can't hear a single word i'm saying it's not really that hot up here but it's windy as hell i'm sorry if that whole thing probably didn't even come out It's something else out here. The scary thing is, is literally no guardrails, nothing anywhere. You mess up and you go off of this and you might stop at the bottom sometime next week. And always, you know, I'm one of these people that worry about everything, you know, a tire going flat, a wind gust. You know, some of these wind gusts have hit us so hard that, you know, you change like a half a lane. Well, if I change a half a lane to the right right now, it's, uh, that's the end of you. So, kind of spooky. I mean, really, the bike hasn't done anything. We haven't done anything. The wind hasn't done anything to deeply concern me, but I'm not the biggest fan of extreme heights either, so I'm sure that adds insult injury <laughs> but anyway had a fantastic time down at the dwellings I hope that video and stuff comes out okay but uh fun 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 so I'm gonna pay attention to driving right now and uh quit yakking at you guys so we'll talk to you later take care now bye